Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a book tag. I feel like I don't do enough of these, so let me know in the comment section your favorite ones so I can do more. But today, I'm doing the reread, rewrite, or burn book tag. So basically, it's going to be pretty brutal. I have written down uh, 40 plus names of books that I will have to pick and choose, and then I have to decide between three different ones. Do I want to read it, rewrite it, or burn it? Which I feel like it's gonna be pretty intense. So they're all in here. I'm gonna be picking three and we're just gonna go ahead and do it. Okay, one, which is gonna be a, In a Dark Dark Wood by Root Ware. Bird Box by Josh Wellerman. And Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. So between those three books, what am I doing? So I think it's not gonna come as a surprise. I think I'm gonna actually burn this one because oh, should I rewrite it? You know what? Actually, I think I'm gonna be burning Into Dark Dark Wood by Root Wear. I haven't read any of her other books, but this one was kind of a, I actually did enjoy it as I was reading it. So it was enjoyable, but it's not memorable. I completely forgot a lot of the details in here. So I mean, thrillers, mysteries, Sometimes they're a little bit like this. I would recommend it, but I wouldn't reread it. And I don't think it's gonna necessitate me rewriting it. At least not as much as some other ones here. So I'm burning this one. And I'm gonna be rewriting Harry Potter and the Cursed Child because I was about to burn it, but really, what it really needs is to be rewritten because I think a lot of us were hoping for this to be the eight Harry Potter and just, that whole feeling of nostalgia, but honestly, I just wanted to actually burn this as I was reading it. So if it was rewritten by J.K. Rowling, I would probably enjoy this because I did like Scorpius as a character, but the rest was crap. But I do want to read more Harry Potter books, so J.K. Rowling, please rewrite this. And then it leaves me rereading Bird Box by Jess Schmellerman. I thought I would be, like when I was writing it down into the list, I thought this would be something I would rewrite because Although I really enjoyed bits of this, I feel like it wasn't my all-time favorite ones. Like there was parts I was kind of in about, but I would still reread this for sure. So rereading this one. It's already very emotional. Let's grab three more books. One, two, three. So we have for some reason I can't find this book, but it's The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chamber. We're gonna represent it by the second book, which I can't find. I've been trying to reorganize my bookshelves like a million times. I'm gonna be filming it because I'm getting another bookshelf because I don't have enough space. But I can't find the first one. But this is gonna be the one representing them. Then there is Vicious by V.E. Schwab. And then It by Stephen King. Oh, it's gonna be hard. Um, I think I'm gonna be rereading a, The Long Way to Small Angry Planet because it's such a feel-good sci-fi. If you're someone that just like starting out to read sci-fi or if you've never read any and you don't know where to st start, it's very character-driven, but such a nice read. So that one would be the one I would reread. I would rewrite Vicious by V.E. Schwab, although I'm not sure exactly what I would rewrite, but I didn't give it five stars. I think it was like a four stars, so I'm assuming there's a few things that could be improved, maybe-ish, but V. Schwab's writing in general is really amazing, so it wouldn't be the writing per se, it would probably be something else added to the story, but super interesting read. I would highly recommend this one, so I'm rewriting this one, which leaves me to that very controversial answer of Burning It by Stephen King. I mean, realistically, would I, in general, think I should burn this book? No. But between the three, I would burn this one. I hated the ending. The ending and like that scene, which if you want to see the spoiler, I put it in my uh, review on Goodreads. So yeah, it wasn't my favorite. So just for that reason, I would burn this book because that was horrendous. I, would, I never want to read that part ever again. So <laughs> I'm burning it. Next. One, two, and three. We have Pines by Blake Crouch. 
I just finished this book this month, so you haven't even seen my review yet, unless you follow me on Goodreads, but this was awesome. Totally loved it, so we'll see what happens to it. Then there's, uh-oh, Shatter Me by Tara Muffy. Do we have a feeling what's gonna happen with this one? <laughs> and then last but last, oh, and last but not least, The Black Prism by Brent Weeks. I already know what I'm doing. This should be hard, but it's not. I am 100% rereading Pines by Blake Crouch. This was such a weird read, but in the best way possible. This isn't something I would recommend to everyone, but if you have similar taste than me, you would like this, I think. It's kind of be like thriller sci-fi, which apparently might be his thing, and I, I loved it. I'm leaving it at that because you're gonna get the full review very soon, but totally rereading this one. I am rewriting The Black Prism by Brent Weeks, which I actually gave four stars on Goodreads, but if you haven't seen that wrap-up video, I bashed the crap out of this book. And it's unfortunate because I was fascinated by the magic system and overall the story has some good points and I am intrigued enough to continue, but holy moly sexism. Like this was horrendous. I believe it was in July. I'll try to link my July wrap up, but seriously, I could let you know which women were the prettiest from the ugliest in order or the best boobs. Yeah, I'm rewriting it because there's so much potential, but there was so many things that were just so unnecessary. So I'm rewriting this one. Kind of happy with that actually. Which leaves me with Shatter Me, which I know so many people love. And I didn't hate it, but there wasn't much that I liked. I can see why there's potential, but I swear this whole book felt like a prologue. So I'm assuming it gets better. I will most likely continue. I have the next book, so I will be reading them eventually. But yeah, I wouldn't mind not having read this because like I said, it felt like a prologue. So a very, very long prologue. So burning this one. So far so good. I feel like it hasn't been that hard so far. I kind of already pretty much know what's gonna happen. Now that I said that, I'm probably gonna struggle with the next one. <laughs> so I got three here. There's, oh, oh shoot. It has to be the bottom one, of course. Steelheart by Brendan Sanderson. We have, and then there were none by Agatha Christie. And then last but not least, we have <gasps> Ms. Morin by Brendan Sanderson. Shoot! To Brendan Sanderson. Okay, ah, uh, I'm rereading Ms. Morin because that's the best of the three books. I would reread this in a heartbeat. I loved it. I actually need to continue uh, in the next trilogy, but totally awesome. Would recommend. Great way to start uh, Brendan Sanderson, by the way, in general. So it leaves me with these two to rewrite or burn. Actually, I think I'm gonna rewrite Steelheart, which is probably so far my least favorite Brendan Sanderson that I've read. I feel like all of his books are like 4.5 or like five stars for me, except this one. The main character was kind of annoying. I don't know if it's because he's a teenager and he's just like kind of annoying. <laughs> That's like the best way of saying it. And he has like those expressions, which right now they're like not in my head, which I think is a really fantastic thing because I hated those expressions, but I can't give you the examples. <laughs> but it was really bad. Like they have their own languages, which I feel like it's normal in like specific world that they have their own expressions. But this one is like constantly, there's three different ones and they're constantly repeated and it was driving me absolutely mental. So I'm rewriting this because there's so much potential. I did enjoy it, but I feel like it could be better. Which leaves me doing something that a lot of people will be resentful over, but I'm burning and then there were none because I know it's a classic and like Agatha Christie is known as like, oh my God, mysteries. Like she basically is that genre, but I didn't love it. Like I read it pretty recently and I don't know, I wasn't feeling it, so. I'm burning it. Okay, let's continue this. So far it's fun. I feel like it's been great so far. Okay, one, two, and three. So we have, uh-oh, Harry Potter and we have Blood Prince, which is the last one I have reread. It's my first time reading them in English, so it's been very interesting. I have the, the last, the seventh one to reread. I'm keeping it for Christmas because I need Harry Potter for Christmas, so the sixth one. It used to be my favorite one, by the way. 
I'm not sure anymore though. I would have to read them again to decide. <laughs> then we have You by Carolyn Kepnes. A very creepy read for the fall. And then last but not least, we have, oh shit. The first 15 lives of Harry August. Oh. I mean, let's be realistic. I would never be able to burn Harry Potter, ever. Do I want to rewrite this? I feel like the only thing I realized when I was rereading it is the fact that there was no uh, Dumbledore army in this one. And I felt like that was missing, but I don't think I would rewrite this anyway. So I'm probably rereading this, which leaves me with these two options. And there's no way I'm burning this. So I guess I'm burning you by Carolyn Kavanagh, which is a very creepy book, but mostly is a book that's gonna make you feel incredibly uncomfortable as you're reading it because you're following the story through the eyes of the stalker. And the persons he's stalking are not necessarily good people. So even though you obviously feel bad, at the same time, part of you kind of doesn't. I don't know, it was a really uncomfortable read and there's some great things about it, but there's also a ton that is like, I'm not sure I enjoyed, so I guess I'm burning it. Which leaves me to rewrite The First 15 Lives of Harry August by Claire North, which is a super interesting uh, read, like sci-fi, someone that basically dies and relives his life constantly. And it's a concept that I absolutely adore. I've been reading that a lot. And I plan to read like basically every book with that type of premise until I've read them all. <laughs> uh, but this one, there was a big part of it that was part of a like a thriller part. And there was a lot of back and forth between his lives since there's like the first 15 lives in this book, which makes sense in a story because obviously if you've lived 15 full lives, your brain probably starts working differently than someone that's only lived once. So it made sense but it can be confusing and a bit boring, I guess. I still give this like a four star, so it's obviously a book that I love. So I guess I'm rewriting it. I'm not sure what I'm changing, but I would rewrite this one. Let's keep going. One, two, three. So we have, <laughs> oh no, we have The Unbecoming of Mary Dyer that I just, just finished by Michelle Otkin. Yeah. Okay, then we have My Sister Rosa, which I read last fall actually. Too creepy book, okay. And the last one is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. I think I'm gonna rewrite My Sister Rosa. Uh, if you don't know, this was basically uh, you're following a teenager and his little sister. I don't remember how old she is, like seven or something. She's basically a psychopath and he's trying to keep her under control, which is a super interesting premise. I really like the cover too, by the way. But I feel like there's some things that could have been done differently that would have made it more enjoyable, in my opinion. So I'm rewriting this one, which leaves me with these two. Um, this one I enjoyed a lot more than expected. I had pretty low expectations, which I feel like sometimes is pretty bust. Uh, and I think I would reread this. I wouldn't mind rereading it at all. I actually need to continue the series, so we'll be rereading this one, which leaves me to burning <laughs> The Unbecoming of Mary Dyer. I think I'm gonna do a video about books, like popular YA books that are super popular that I end up basically hating, so I can just say everything I wanna say about this one because I have so much to say and I don't think I'm gonna have enough time I wrap up to do so but this book frustrated me so much. Like, just keep in mind, the only thing I'm gonna say is that the main male love interest literally tells her that she's not like other girls. So I'm burning this. Starting to run long papers. Three more. One, two, three. We have Packing for Mars by Mary Roach, which I think is the only nonfiction that I included. I should have included more. Actually, I need to read more of those, but this was really good. I enjoy that one. Then we have, uh-oh, uh-oh, this book, Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. I have been complaining for so long about this book. I literally decided to keep it so I can like continue to complain about it. I'm that person. So, yeah. And then last but not least, we have A Court of Miss and Fury by Sarah J Maas. Okay, let's have fun. Okay, let's be real. This one is obviously being burnt, even though I love complaining about it. I'm burning this. And I'm a little unsure here because 
Between the two, I believe I would enjoy, I'm sorry, I'm blinding you. I would enjoy rereading this one more than this one. But I feel like if I rewrote this one, because I don't really know what I would rewrite about this one, this one would become probably like almost a five stars-ish if I can change a few things in there. Ugh. But I don't really want to read this or rewrite this. Shit. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'm rewriting this one then, or I'm really stuck. It's literally the first time that I'm stuck now. I think I'm gonna reread this because realistically I would reread this more than this one, which leaves me to rewriting this. I don't know what I would change. Yeah, it's one of those I really don't know what I would do. So I think I'm gonna be stopping here and I'm gonna be doing it in two parts. I hope you don't mind this. I think it's gonna make it easier. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section what other uh, book tags you're interested in because I will be doing more. Don't forget to check out other videos that I've done and don't forget to subscribe if you don't miss any future videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye.